What's up, everybody? It's Keefe from Ghost Cult Magazine. You're listening to the Ghost Cult Podcast, Episode 3. In today's episode, we spoke to John from Skillet and his new side project, Fight the Fury. And we talked to John at length about things going on with Skillet, new Skillet music next year, and of course, his new album for Fight the Fury. Check it out. What's up, everybody? It's Keefe here from Ghost Cult Magazine, ghostcultmag.com, and I'm here with John from Skillet and Fight the Fury. How are you doing, John? Good. What's up? What is up, man? What is up is Rock Allegiance in Camden, New Jersey. Yeah, uh, baby. Another badass Danny Wimmer Presents festival, and we love these festivals. Oh, yeah. The lineup is <laughs> awesome. I've already gotten to go out and watch a little bit of the band. I'm friends with a lot of people, but some of the bands I uh, never toured with, and when I get to see them, I'm... I'm a fan. Right, you get the fanboy yeah, out? Fanboy, yeah. I who'd, love you, it. who'd you see today that you enjoyed so oh, I far? I saw From Ashes to New. Killer. I'm a fan of, and we played together only one time. So uh, I've not been able to see, you know, since the new project came out, right. which I like. So I got to go watch them play. And then I'm going to get to see uh, Fozzie here in a little while. Killer, killer, man. Yeah, it's a great lineup today. Uh, and Rock Allegiance always does a great job here in the uh, Philadelphia, South Jersey area. Uh, but here we are today, and in addition to being on tour with Skillet, you have a brand new side project release coming out, Fight the Fury. And I heard the crushing first single, My Demons. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this side project and you know, why this direction aside from, you know, uh, addition in addition to Skillet. Sure. <clears throat> well, thanks very much, by the way. I'm glad to get to uh, promote it. <laughs> sure, so thanks. Thanks for talking about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, the project is called Fight the Fury, and uh, it's a, it's a little bit more of a metal project. Um, and uh, some people said, "So why are you doing? Why don't you just do some of those songs with Skillet?" It's just something about it that's a bit grittier. I think some of it's in the lyrics. The lyrics are a bit darker, uh, but the, the music is just a bit more unconventional. And I get to go back to a lot of my roots. And um, one, for instance, one of the songs in the EP. The EP comes out in a few weeks. Um, one of the songs is a chorus that I wrote for Skillet like three records ago and uh, every time we get back around I go what about this song they go it's just too heavy I'm like screw it I'm <laughs> then I'm gonna make a new band that I get to do the stuff that's too heavy or too gritty and I get to explore a lot of fun stuff you know harm the harmony solos that I love from from Maiden and Avenged and bands like that um, and th th there's some um, you know some good Metallica influence in there who is you know the, the all time best you know metal band of the world in my I agree yeah. without a doubt yeah so good and then there's some Slipknot influence some Korn and, Killer. And, and Breaking Ben and that kind of stuff I definitely heard the Korn influence there uh, I heard some riffs and some choruses that sounded like very uh, late 90s metal which I totally love uh, and you know let's just talk about something for a second uh, that I don't think a lot of people really think about is you know some bands or some labels or some managers don't want to hear about side projects and solo records and things like that your band is not shy to let everybody step out and have their thing Jen Ledger's Ledger band is killer I personally reviewed that record killer record please go out and get it and support Jen she's a badass and you have this now do you feel like this enhances what will come back to Skillet later or do you, or do you right. ever worry about it taking away because that's the obvious like people worry about it taking away from the yeah. thing they they love a long time, right? Uh, yeah, I think when I first had the idea, that, that's exactly right. About five years ago, and I and I said to a management label, like, I, I like the idea of starting the, a, a side project. And they were like, why? Like, things are going good. Like, don't poke the bear, you know? And, and so well, it'd be fun. Why not? You know, right. there's going to be a group of people out there that might like it, and we could, I can record it myself, so I don't have to spend a whole ton of money on it. And it's actually a really good thing because it's kind of gotten me in this zone. We were making three records at once. We made the Ledger record that you just mentioned, which is our drummer, Jen. We made the Ledger record that I, I co-wrote on as well. And Corey, who, who's my wife, mm. guitar player for Skillet, produced the Jen Ledger record. So we did that record. We did a brand new Skillet album. All right. And I was recording Fury at the same time. So I think what it was doing was uh, it was actually kind of enhancing everything because I was just in this zone of having fun. Having fun. You know, having fun writing music, not being afraid to try something new. And that was, uh, that was a cool feeling. Well, it's really important to keep, uh, you know, obviously, look, this is your passion, but it's also your career and your job. And the stakes are very high when you're on a major label. Shout out to Atlantic. Uh, and again, none of this is, uh, you know, all of us, I'm sure Atlantic is supporting you fully on all this stuff, but yeah. there, you definitely know the industry and it's not always supported. So lucky that you have a great label and a great team behind you. I do. Uh, which is fortunate because not everyone does 
does uh, in this game here. But uh, you know, it definitely uh, struck me as you know. I think this is a, I think a side project, especially if it lets you get out a side you don't get to express in your main band. I think it will help you. Uh, you know, when you come back to your own music, yeah. explore other avenues, do other things. I think that's it, that's how I'm feeling. Now we'll see how. It goes. <laughs> ask me, Oops. ask me in a year. I'll be like, this sucks. No, I, I think that's what it's doing. Uh, because sometimes I'll write stuff and I'm like, I just want to say that it's going to require some screaming. And then they'll be like, yeah, I don't know if that's really the right thing for a skillet record. And so I'm doing right. some things on Fight the Fury that I've just never been able to do with, with skillet. You know, some some really screamy stuff, some dark stuff on, on the lyrics and writing about real stuff. You know? Killer. And I think at the same time, skillet fans will be able to find, obviously, you and, and things about the record to also hang on to and like and appreciate. So definitely not going to scare them away either. Hey, come check it out at least and support this guy. You already like a lot of his other music and his other records. Uh, and you've been working like you guys do pretty much a cycle every couple of years, a new record, tour, write, record. So uh, I really tip my hat uh, to you guys about the, you know, being prolific. It's hard. It's hard work. I think maybe fans don't always appreciate how much planning and hard work goes in. They just get a record on Spotify, shows up in their phone if they're following or bands in town, you get a notification. And then you just take it for granted that, listen, this was like two years of your life, and now you're talking about yeah. several projects you did in a row. It's going to yeah. be a grind. It was. It, it, we did it all on the road, so it was like... Wow. Uh, we recorded 90% of the Fury uh, EP in, in dressing rooms of, in, 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 at this venue. You know, we played yeah. here a year ago with Corn. Sure. Corn and Stone Sour, and uh, at this venue... I'm not making this up. This is true. At this venue, I got the mix for my last song on Fight the Fury, the very last song of the EP. I got it this day. I remember I was running outside, I was running around, and I listened to the mix and making mix notes. And So we recorded it on the road, and uh, but I think it's because I get inspired from the fans, you know? I get inspired by these stories when you see people singing your song, and then you, you go to meet and greet, and they're like, dude, I heard that song, and that's the reason I, I checked myself into rehab because of that song. And you're like, really? <laughs> because of that song? So uh, that inspires me. I like to write about that stuff for the fans. Killer, man, killer. Uh, and of course, again, you have uh, a terrific fan base uh, out on the road right now with Skillet. So you just mentioned a new Skillet record. Is that next year, definitely? or? Yeah, originally it was going to be now. We were going to be releasing a record this month. And we were just trying to find the right time to slot everything in. And when we released the Ledger EP, which you mentioned mm. back in April, we thought, you know, let's give it a little time to breathe. And we weren't sure if it was going to be enough time to breathe. And then we thought, you know what? I think we could use a few more months. So it's going to be next year. The okay. record's almost done. Uh, 80% finished with the thing. And uh, but so I'm, I think by next summer, you'll have brand new brand new Skillet music out. Amazing. Well, summer's a good time to put a record out. So it, is. it feels that's like good. rock and roll, doesn't it? It does. It surely does. And, you know, I'd say also, again, uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, I want to heap a bunch of praise on that Ledger record, and I know she's done some touring, so super stoked. I hope she gets to do another run of dates behind that record. Uh, just killer stuff. Uh, really not a lot, you know, like not enough spotlight shined on, on some great rock music these days. We need more of it, and uh, she's out front in that project, so we need that. And uh, yeah, just pumped, man. It's good to talk to you. Uh, what else is going on the rest of the year for Skillet? Are you guys continuing to tour? What's happening? Yeah, uh, after uh, today, today awesome event and I can't wait to see my, my friends from Papa Roach I love Papa Roach um, after tonight we do uh, Australia Skillet in Australia which we haven't been in, in uh, six years. Wow. So it's just, it's always so hard to put in, to make sure you go to all the countries. And so we're finally going back to Australia, New Zealand. And then Fight the Fury is going to Russia in December. And I hope that Fight the Fury is in America next year, first quarter. So be looking out for Fight the Fury dates. And if you want to follow Fight the Fury, the easiest way <laughs> is to go to all the Skillet stuff. If you follow the Skillet stuff, you'll find the links to fightthefury.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook, yada, yada. Social media is so important, and I will say, uh, just in closing, I, I appreciate that you guys are very personally involved. I see you responding to fans when they ask, oh, what's going to happen on, can I get, you know, can I do this at this show? Are you guys going to be at this show? Is there a VIP? You guys answer personally, which I really appreciate, because, you know, as a, also a marketing professional in my spare time, uh, when I'm not doing this... <laughs> 
uh, I definitely appreciate when the bands themselves are personally connected to their fan base. So yeah. props to you guys for that really nice oh, job. Excellent, thank so, you. So yeah, man, John from Skillet and Fight the Fury. Fight the Fury EP comes out in a couple of weeks. Woo. You can pick it up by uh, checking out all the Skillet we social media and website stuff because I'm sure it'll be promoted there. Yeah. I am Keefe from Ghost Cult Magazine. This is John from Skillet and Fight the Fury, and we are out. Thanks for checking out today's podcast. Follow, like, and subscribe wherever you hear these podcasts. Also check out Ghost Cult Magazine on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And finally check us out at ghostcultmag.com. We're out. Peace.